you also went to college. You know what I mean? When it comes to like rappers per se, and I don't want to stereotype rappers, but a lot of rappers you don't hear about, you know, going to college. You know what I mean? So yeah. explain like what was you pursuing um, in college? The crazy part about that, I went there and I picked the major of uh, computer science. Mm. And I'm thinking computer science is something way different. And they got, then I find out that shit is way not what the fuck I supposed to. So I changed it to TV broadcast. Mm. So doing like what you're doing or mm-hmm. doing my own show or an analyst, like I could do any of that. But I went to Florida Memorial in Miami. I just, education just big. And me and my bro was the, like the first two in our generation to go to college and graduate. Oh, that's dope. So, I had, a, I had a point to prove, like, right, I'm going to do this, like, mm-hmm. and moms could have did it too, but she had it, so I said, okay, I'm going to do it for moms. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is for me, but it's mostly for moms. Like, if it was me, I would have been rapping, and you don't know how far I would have been, but mm-hmm. I can't, I can't go back on that, so it was like, okay, I had to get this education. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even going to say it's a fallback plan either, like, I, I stopped saying fallback. This is what I want to do, so. Mm-hmm. Did you end up getting a job in the field that you actually went to college for? Nah. The crazy part about that is. They wanted me to do an internship for free for like a year. But I would just think about like where I was living with my grams, I had to get money, like rent. Crazy part is when I got my first job, I was a host at Joe's Crab Shack. Mm. And my first check was like 800 I had to give that 800 to my grams. Like, I think because my grandpa and them was coming down. Uh-huh. Or, or it was for rent. And I paid it. I'm like, 800 Like, you know what I can do with 800 And it's mine. Like, I'm thinking that's mine. First dude. check. Oh my gosh, she hurt my feelings on that. Never got it back. So, yeah, I got a job, and ever since then, I'd be like, I I, I played with 9 to 5. I would leave. I never, I didn't even know what the fuck a two-week notice was, my guy. Yeah, yeah. I'd just leave and say, fuck out of here. But then I was like, you got to grow up sometimes. You know, yeah, that shit yeah. might come back and bite you. It do. Yeah. Like a reference. Especially if you're going hard at a job, and you know you can make more money at this one. How you going to reference them now? Like, you, you just dip. Mm-hmm. So now I move better. But now I just, I focus, and I say, yo, 9 to 5, you, you really might need it. Because it helps build... Your dream, bro. You can fund your dream with your nine to five if you use it right. Don't mm-hmm. be miserable. Like I've seen people miserable. Those are people who just didn't gave up. And I, I don't want to say that, but it, I say the miserable people because you're miserable. It's because you're not focused and saying, "Yo, I'm gonna use this to get up in life." Mm-hmm. Like you, I don't understand. Like bills are sometimes you get way behind. You never come back, but you just gotta keep grinding, bro. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta keep, you never doubt. Like, and you got God, my guy. Just talk to God. Like me, I talk to God like it ain't nothing to a point where I be like, yo, God, please no fuckery. Like, I can speak to him like that. And my girl be like, you bugging. You can't be talking like that. Like, you tripping. Mm. Like, but me, I'm like, nah, just the way I like. It's my oh, relationship. You look like the way your life and yeah. your belief in your relationship. Like, you got you your do. own relationship with God. Mm. I understand, bro. I understand. That's definitely. I mean, you talking about the struggles. You know what I mean? You got a song talking about feel my struggle. Like, that's one of the songs that, you know, caught my attention. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean? So, Let's talk about that song before we, you know, I got more questions for you, but let's talk about that song yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in specific, you know what I mean? Crazy part about it, I heard that beat, and I don't even know, I think I had a different song. I had a different song. But every, like ever since I got that job, bro, I never missed a day. I swear to God. I think I missed a day because they scheduled me and I ain't know. But besides that, I never missed a day, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm like, yo, this is not if I should get old. I'm not doing nothing. This is before I started moving up. I'm like, shit. But I'm broke. And me and my girl trying to eat. Like, like I was sleeping in a car before all this. So, I feel my struggle was about, like, yo, nigga, you can come up. This struggle shit is real. Like, I didn't know about the struggle. Like, I had moms. I had grandmoms. Like, we was we was good. Mm-hmm. But then I, I hit a point where I just went down. And I'm like, like you, I can't even. You get to a point where I said this one point when I said, you can't chill with your girl with your feet up. And I'm saying that to a point where I was sleeping in a car. So I can't even chill with my girl on my feet up. You can't feel cold. How you cozy? Yeah. I ain't got a crib, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reached that point where I'm like, yo, this struggle shit is real. Like, people really out here cold, can't eat. Like, they got belly aches. Mm-hmm. Niggas be complaining about dumb shit. Like, yeah, yeah. So I know the struggle. And I know you can get out of it. Like, I'm I'm not good now, but my nigga, I'm not, I'm not in the car no more. Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes nah. I be like, yo, I go out the car, I can save some money. Yeah. But that's just me playing around like... Nah, nah, but you you know where you came from. Mm. That's that's one thing you gotta and remember. I was only for a period of time. Mm-hmm. Like that's not my whole life. Mm-hmm. But it, it it did something to me. Like okay, you bugging now, bro. You see what could happen? God could David Stern your shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how you actually got into music though. Was that always something that was a part of you? As far as like rapping, you you talked about being young. You know, rapping over the tapes and shit. 
but like what actually got you into music? I think it was fifth grade when I moved down here. My my god brother, he rapped, and then we just started a group. And I think I was, I was, I was Lil X, and he was Triple X. My bro was my twin. I got a twin bro. Oh, he okay. was DMX. Even though it was DMX out here, we just like nigga, you DMX. Like well, I'm Lil X. That's that's Triple X. Like and we rapping, and I was writing. And ever since then, I'm like, yo, I can write. Like, mm. I can write. Like, I can do shit with words. And I'm like, that's crazy. I can play with words. Like, every day I talk to myself, I say, yo, it's crazy how niggas can play with words. Like, that's why when a nigga is rapping, I don't say that nigga better than me. He just got a flow where it's like, this nigga know his flow. And he, he just mastered his craft. I'm like, yo, this nigga's dope. But I bet that nigga listen to me. Oh, this nigga say the same thing. So it's like, I yeah. never hate on a nigga. Like, nigga, you dope at what you do. Like, keep doing you. I ain't even trying to be like you, but that's dope. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gotta hate on nigga. That shit crazy. So how how old were you though? I was uh eleven. Eleven. When I first started writing. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Famous Before the Fame podcast. I really appreciate it. Check this out. I'ma keep doing my job, which is continue to deliver dope content. What I need from you in return don't even cost one dollar. If you really like this episode and want to hear more, make sure you follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and watch us on YouTube so you never miss another episode. Like, subscribe, review, retweet, and share. Again, I am Super Sean, and this is FamousBeforeTheFame.com.